A big development in the George Washington Bridge scandal. A new report says New Jersey Governor Chris Christie had nothing to do with the big backup. His aides orchestrated it all, according to that report. And here's Derek Dennis is live now at the GWB with the very latest on the investigation and this report that was just released. Derek. Well, Logan, this is where the scandal started, right here at the foot of the George Washington Bridge. But New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is hoping it ends right here with that new investigative report paid for by the governor that basically says the governor's hands are clean. The George Washington Bridge scandal losing steam after a newly released 300-page report has cleared New Jersey Governor Chris Christie of any knowledge of it, any wrongdoing. We found that Governor Christie had no knowledge beforehand of this George Washington Bridge realignment idea and that he played no role whatsoever in that decision or the implementation of it. We further found no evidence that anyone in the governor's office besides Bridget Kelly knew of this idea in advance or played any role in the decision or the implementation of it. Attorney Randy Maestro was hired by the Christie administration to conduct an investigation after it was revealed several lanes at the bridge were um, deliberately shut down to snarl traffic and a political um, vendetta against the mayor of nearby Fort Lee, New Jersey. How could you hire your own attorney to do a, or hire an attorney representing you to clear you of a charge. Reaction among Fort Lee residents who sat through hours of traffic gridlock during the scandal last September is mixed. Some seeing the obvious conflict of interest with the report, others giving Christie the benefit of the doubt. I like to believe him. Um, I think he's a good governor. Um, but, you know, as for knowing for sure, I don't um, I don't think we'll ever know. But questions remain, especially since the report did not interview any of the key players in the scandal, aides Bridget Kelly and David Wildstein, or the mayor of Fort Lee, Mark Sokolich. But from the beginning, Christie has denied any wrongdoing. He wants to clear his name out, I think. That's what it is. I mean, he wants to run more powerfully in the future, so he wants to be a clear. The governor has maintained his innocence all along, and now this new report, costing taxpayers nearly $1 million in legal fees, appears to support the governor's side. And, of course, this is really just one report paid for by the governor, as we said. Other investigations are ongoing by state officials, so the governor not yet in the clear. Those investigations uh, could come back with an entirely different finding, or if the governor gets his way, it could back, come back with the same finding. The governor, Christie, had no knowledge of this scandal. Reporting live tonight at the George Washington Bridge, I'm Derek Dennis for Ebra News. Logan, back to you. All right, Derek, thanks so much for that report.